Hey guys, I'm Harry. Today's specialty crop, tomatoes. When people often think of tomatoes, they first think of Italian food because of how much it's used in it. But did you know that the tomato was first actually discovered in Central and South America? Now that we know where it comes from, what do you think a tomato is? Raise your hand if you think it's a vegetable. What about a fruit? Let's go take a look. Botanically, tomatoes are a fruit because they have seeds and they grow from a flowering plant. But in the 1890s, the Supreme Court classified the tomato as a vegetable for taxation purposes because they were mostly served as a vegetable at dinner. Tomato plants grow from the same seeds that are inside the tomatoes. They need lots of sunshine, nutrient-dense, and well-drained soil to grow. They grow fastest in hot weather. They can get up to six feet high and need stakes and trellises to keep them off the ground. There are over 15,000 known varieties of tomatoes in the world with ripened colors, ranging from red, green, yellow, orange, purple, pink, black, brown, and more. One of the most popular tomatoes is the heirloom. The heirlooms are great because you can save the seeds and grow the same plant over and over again year after year. A couple of tomato plants will produce hundreds of fruit and keep giving you fresh tomatoes from early summer right through fall. Tomatoes are jam-packed with important nutrients that support our health. They are low in calories, packed with powerful antioxidants such as vitamins A and C, which keep you healthy, and rich in potassium, iron, and fiber. So does anyone know what the difference between organic and non-organic produce is? Organic produce is grown without the use of synthetic pesticides or fertilizers. One interesting thing to note, cooked tomatoes are actually better for you than raw. As the cooking processes releases more beneficial nutrients in the fruit, I mean vegetable, I mean fruit. If your tomatoes aren't the perfect tomato yet, set them on your counter and they will gracefully make the transition from this to this. One important thing to remember, do not place the tomatoes in the refrigerator, they'll lose their taste. Only cut or cooked tomatoes should go in the refrigerator. When you are ready to enjoy your tomatoes and they're fully ripened, you can have your parents slice them for sandwiches, toss them in salads, cook them into sauces, or squeeze them for juice.